Hey guys, this is Triggs, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these really nice professional social media icons. These can be used for YouTube backgrounds or even websites. So, we're going to get right into it. We're going to go into Photoshop and open up new canvas. Uh, I'm going to pick 20, 1280 by 720. You guys can pick whatever you want. And make sure you have your resolution set to 72. And then we're going to change our background color to... A dark gray or you can use black depends on what you want but I think the, the a nice dark gray I'm using um 26 26 26 it looks really nice okay so now that we got that gray we're gonna make a new layer we're gonna go to the ellipse tool we're gonna hold down shift and we're gonna make our circle all right that looks really good now we're gonna rasterize that layer and then we're going to go to the layer, go to the color overlay, and then we're going to choose white. Then we're going to need to rasterize that layer again. Convert to smart object, rasterize. And now we're going to start adding our effects. So we're going to start with the gradient overlay. The opacity for this is going to be set to 40. And then you're going to want to go to your overlay. You're going to drag this white bar down to 50. Then you're going to bring another one up to 80. And then on the far left, you're going to drag another one over and make just a light gray. That looks really nice. Um, bring the opacity down to 30. I think that's going to look a little bit better. And then we're going to go to our inner glow. For our inner glow, <coughs> sorry about that, set the blend mode to normal. Change the color to black. Then we're going to do 40%. And size, keep it at 5 so that looks good. It gives it a little bit more orb style effect. Then we're going to go to our drop shadow. Make sure the angle measure is at 90. Distance of 2 and size of 8. And bring the opacity down to 50%. Then go to your outer glow. Change that to black. Blend mode to normal. And then the size to 20. And then we're going to bring the opacity down to 30. So that just gives it a nice fading glow effect around it. So that's the basis of that. Next um, are the social media icons you're going to need. Now I'll put a link in the description to where you can download some good ones. I'm just going to open one up and use the Twitter bird. I got it right here. So control C to copy it. And then we're going to go over to our orb. We're going to paste it in here. A new layer. I'm going to make it smaller by holding shift. And that looks pretty good. That's just about, yeah, that's about the size you want it. So go to your color overlay. Change it to gray. That same gray we used, that'll work. Then we're going to rasterize that layer. Convert to smart object, rasterize. Then add a gradient overlay. Set the blend mode to overlay. And bring it down to 30%. That looks perfect. And then we're going to add in an inner shadow. Distance to 2. Leave the size at 5. Bring the opacity down to 50. And actually bring the size down to 4. That looks better. Okay, now I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. And that really is all there is to it. And that's pretty much perfect. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a label under it. You could put a little bit of glow behind it. And um, these will look good really on anything. I know a lot of people like to use them on YouTube backgrounds. They're good for websites. And um, what you just want to do is you can just uh, put it on a white canvas, save it as a PNG, and then you can just upload it to uh, wherever you need to use it. So hope you guys like this. Please like the video. Please favorite. I'm going to be doing some cool new videos coming up soon uh, during the holiday break. So stay tuned. Thanks for all the subscribers. And um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.